Hello, welcome to this again. It's that time of the year again. People are somewhat annoyed at Apple. So at WWDC this year, Apple announced a few big things, among them being Apple's new liquid glass design language. Many people have mixed feelings. Personally, I think it looks great and awful at the same time, but one of the things they note in their announcement is that all of this is possible because of how powerful their machines have gotten, so much so that this is the last version of macOS that supports Intel Macs. So I've got this 2011 MacBook Pro here, and I want to find out whether I can get macOS Tahoe running on this thing, and if it can handle all the new reflections and glass and all that stuff. Alright, I've got the MacBook here. It is currently running the latest version of macOS that is officially supported by Apple, but lucky for me, there are ways around that. The Open Core Legacy Pack has been a thing for a while. It basically lets you run unsupported versions of macOS on your Mac, which works surprisingly well. I will say the version of macOS I'm going to be installing is still in its first beta, and OpenCore has absolutely zero official support for this version of macOS yet, so I'm expecting things to be very broken. So if I go and create a macOS installer using an existing macOS installer, cool. I downloaded the file, here it is. I probably just need to install it. Cool. Okay, we have macOS beta here. Now can you do the thing? Okay then, I guess we're installing Catalina. So let me first download one, I guess. Might as well just go for Sequoia because it's the latest one I can install right now officially. Well, not officially, but you know. And now I wait. Luckily I have fairly fast internet and I put an SSD in this thing. All right, there's my USB stick. All right, now I just gotta wait for it to write all the files to it. Okay, that took ages, but it's validating the installer integrity now. I've been filming for an hour and a half, and I'm still on High Sierra. Alright, it is finally finished creating the macOS installer. For Sequoia, not even the version I'm trying to install. Yup, that one. That SSD is fast. Earlier today, I had a hard drive in this thing, and uh... So, like, I wanted to, you know, use this thing, so I turned it on. It was taking quite a while to boot, so I, uh, I, I, you know, I just, like, watched YouTube while it was still booting for, like, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, built a shelf, and it's still booting. After I force rebooted it, it worked fine, so I have no idea what that was about. Can I EFI boot into this? Cool, do that. Alright, cool, I would like to install macOS Sequoia. And now I wait an hour and 14 minutes. Cool. Oh, um, we're okay. Uh, uh. We're just in, I guess. Alright. Okay, we're at accessibility. I don't need accessibility. Uh, keep it on light theme, it's easier to record. Welcome to Mac. Okay. Right, we are now running Sequoia at a very reduced frame rate, but you see now I can reopen OpenCore, make a macOS install. Oh, where's the installer that I literally just installed? Okay, fine, I guess I'll reinstall the installer. All right, now we have the macOS beta installer. So if I go to OpenCore, create macOS installer, use an existing one, that one. Now, why is it not picking up the USB stick that's plugged in? Like, it literally yelled at me for unplugging it incorrectly. Is it because it's an install USB stick already? Can I just format it through Disk Utility and just use it? Yep, just erase it. Oh, that was a nice animation. If it's lagging this much on Sequoia, I do not have high hopes for, you know, Tahoe. Alright, it finished erasing. What do you mean no disks found? It's right... It's, it's right over here. <laughs> I'm gonna try finding a different USB stick, I guess. Oh, there's actually one right here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna just hope this one's a little bit faster than the other, but I think this thing only has USB 2.0 ports. I don't even know what this has on it. Oh, it's open core. And staff role, the Project Diva mod I made for that one video. Can open core pick this up? Yes. Cool. And now we wait another eternity. All right, it has been another eternity, and I'm I'm pretty sure I already have Open Core on the disk, but just do it again just in case. Oh, it's gonna make me reboot, and that's gonna take ages. I won't reboot yet because um I want to go to System Settings and just uh real quick make this a bit brighter. All right, I guess we're doing iMac Urple. Urple's cool. I like Urple. Now I can reboot. Can I just like go straight to this? We have a loading bar. This is good. Oh no. Okay, I was kind of expecting this. What if we just try again? Actually, first I'm gonna boot into the SSD, just to see if maybe it does some funky configuration stuff, I guess, I don't know. Okay, yep, we've rebooted, I'ma just reboot it again. If this doesn't work, I can always just, like, use Apple's, you know, actual tools to upgrade. 
Okay. All right. Okay, so if I go to if I go to here and I just try opening this, if I'm actually going to be dealing with this version of macOS for the time being, I should probably do the post install stuff. Patcher is capable of patching. Yeah, I sure hope it is. Oh, I have to reboot to apply. Okay, fine. All right, we're back. Now can I install macOS beta? Oh, hey, there it is. And now we wait another hour. Cool. I have a feeling this is just going to brick the install. But, uh, f it, we ball. It's 1 a.m. What else am I gonna do? Oh. It found- it, it detected the- it detected the thing. Okay. It has to prepare the Mac OS for software update. Cool. Oh. It just went from, like, 75% finished to done in a second. Okay, then. I guess we'll restart. Place your bets. Will it instantly brick the install? I would bet at least a dollar. You know what? A dollar. Uh, Mac OS installer, give it a shot. Oh, it rebooted. That's not a good thing. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, actually. That might be the intended behavior. Oh, we have a mouse cursor. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay. It is running so slowly. Oh my god. The mouse cursor is still not moving. Can I type? No. Oh, and now it's just black. Okay, cool. I'll give it a minute. Okay, an external mouse also isn't doing anything, and it's been a hot minute. So, I'm gonna try shutting this thing down. Just holding the power button. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit, because oh my god. And then I'm gonna turn it back on. I've been trying to do this for over six hours at this point. This thing better just let me log in, please. If it shows me one frame of the actual liquid glass stuff going on, it's a win. Oh shoot, but can I actually do anything? It does not seem so. The caps lock button isn't even lighting up. Literally the only thing that's happening on screen is that blinking. I mean, at least it knows it's charging. Yeah, no, there's not even any power being sent to the USB ports. Except for some reason when I click on this, it lights up, but I don't think that's enough to, you know, actually use the thing. I mean, by definition, it is running. And that's about it. What if I just reboot again? Yeah, see, like, the mouse and stuff works here. Why can't you work? not here. I'm just gonna let this sit here while I look for potential solutions, but yeah, I don't know if I'm actually gonna get to the desktop or not. So over the next four days, me and a few people in my Discord server just tried a gazillion different methods of like manually importing the open core stuff and all the things required to have USB work and it just wasn't working. And eventually after some sort of attempt to get the thing to work, I tried booting and it was taking a ridiculously long amount of time to boot. So uh, I just left it overnight while it tried to boot. It was trying to boot for 10 hours and it didn't boot. So yeah, I guess basically in, you know, some, some point in my gazillion attempts trying to get this thing to work, I broke the install. And I don't want to make another one just to try the same things and then for it to break again. Especially when this is still beta software and OpenCore does not support it yet. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. They literally say, hey, we don't support this. If you try it, it's probably not going to work. And yep, now I'm just sitting here watching it endlessly do this. But I just wanted to see whether this thing can handle liquid glass or not. What I forgot to mention is that I was actually referring to this stuff. Funny thing, shortly after recording the video, uh, I did actually get liquid glass and all that working. I mean, yeah, here it is, it's, it's doing it, it's doing all the things. And I mean, if that's not enough for you, just, you know, and there you go.